That is so weird. Big old jellyfish laying right in the grass <laughs> after low tide. There's my dad. What is going on, guys? Uh, we are out here today, my dad and I. We're going down in this little estuary and we're going to try to find some Dungeness crabs to eat. And then we might do a little catch and cook test later. They should be out. It is low tide and uh, they should just they should just be out walking around. So let's see if we can find any. Is this a smelt? Guys, it happened too fast oh for me gosh, to show you guys. I think that is. Is that a smelt? I think it is. I guess there's a, a smelt run. You should that is, snag them. That is crazy. Those this probably makes great bait. There's another smelt. one. Wait, got him. No, you I got two. <laughs> guys, no way. I got two. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. You can eat those things. You can? Oh, oh absolutely. Let's let's keep them. We use them for bait if we don't eat them. Yeah, something. Nice. Boom. <laughs> Good job. Nice. <laughs> kind of dumb. One will just run right into me every once in a while. Yeah, they're just all over. Got one. <laughs> this is cool. Guys, look at this. You gotta catch and cook the smell. Oh, I yeah. got them swimming between my legs, literally. <sighs> nice. That we might be catching and cooking uh -huh. a new fish. Heck yeah. Got one. He nice. swam right in the he net. Right in. Very Two cool. of them. Look, a little tiny one as well. Oh my goodness. All right. You know, we better look up the official rules on these. I think uh, they're bait fish. Yeah, I think they are. So there are no rules, but let me, let me just make sure. Guys, we got a big one right here. Big one, just roaming along. And this, look how fe feisty this one is. This, I'll bet, is a male. What do you want to bet? Oh, he's fighting. Look at him. He's fighting the net. He's fighting the net. <laughs> he's not even. It's, it's a, a male. male. Yes. Oh, oh. Got him. <laughs> look at this dude. Oh, he is. He's going to be close. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's trying to pinch me. Let's take a quick uh, measurement. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's big. Oh, yeah. He's big enough for sure. Drop him in. All right, guys. First keeper. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boom. Go. Smelt. He might eat a few smelt. <laughs> if he, he eats the smelt, him. he can have them. Oh, oh yeah, big one. guys. Oh, there are two of them. Oh, it's, oh, it's a, oh, you know There's what? another one over there, too. Okay. Let's scoop up this one. Oh, look. This is another male. What do you want? He's fighting the net. They won't get in. They, they like literally push themselves out of the net every time. <laughs> Look at him. I'm gonna grab him. Yeah, he's a male. Male? Yes. Let's measure him. Guys, this is sweet. Careful. Oh, wait. He, oh, oh, he has my jacket. There's another one up here, too. Oh, nice, Let's nice. go up here and get this one. Okay, we're gonna scoop up two and then we'll measure him. Oh, that's a big one. Guys, look at this. We'll, there we we'll, go. We'll measure him here in a minute. We'll get, all right, let's just scoop up a bunch. Oh, look, here's a, oh my gosh, that's a giant. Guys, are you seeing this? Look at it's like picking up candy. Is that a male? That's a male. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. They're giants. All right, guys. Three at once in big. one area. This one, we don't. That, oh, we know that's big. We don't even measure this, dude. <laughs> They're all pinching the net real hard. Well, we could leave him, I suppose. Yeah, let's measure him. Oh, he's been hit by a seagull already, too. Let's see oh, here. Hold on, hold on. barely okay. not. Come on, get out of my way there, Bob. Oh, yeah, just barely. Guys, there's barely not a keeper. Uh, Okay, yep, okay. We'll let that one go. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's he's big. F sweet! Guys, three keepers all in one area and one barely not a keeper. Boom! Catch of the day pops. He's right down there where you're lighting. Wait for the mud to clear. He's right like, wait, where'd he go, where'd he go? Serious. Where'd he go? Wait, he was just right here. Oh, How? oh here, it's right here. Whoa, 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 oh, yes, yeah, that's a giant. That's a giant. Oh, we got him. It's a male. Yes. <laughs> that's a huge one. Number four. <laughs> Guys. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. It's like scooping up candy, big oh pieces of candy. Gosh, big pieces of good candy. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is, I think this might be the biggest one of the night right here. It is so far, I think. <laughs> He's trying to grab me, guys. Oh my goodness, Ace. That is a nice beast. Job. All right. Number four. Let's get him in. See him? Let's try to scoop him up. I see a fish. <laughs> I got him. I got him. 
Oh, it's a, uh, it's one of those, like, flat heads or something. Oh, yeah, like sculpins. I, yeah. He has his horns raised. Oh, there he goes. I've heard those are dangerous. Oh, look, he's just sitting right there. Guys, look at this big one. Come right around. Come to pop. Come to pop. Right in. Well, he's like, no, wait, what's this? Let's flip him over real quick. Oh. You want to just grab so we don't have to. What's that? Just grab this one. It's a male. male. Guys, I think we got keeper number five. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like oh, yeah. six and a half inches. Nice. Boom. 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 <laughs> you know, I see a storm. Is that a storm coming? It's starting to rain. Guys, a rain, guys, a rain storm came up, so we are going to walk on back. We got catch of the day, and we're going to cook this up. Well, that was crazy, guys. The storm blew up and kind of chased us off, but it was fine. We already caught tons of crabs. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cook up crabs. We've made this year frog sandwiches, crawfish sandwiches, trout sandwiches, and I think that's it. So let's add crab sandwiches now to the mix this year. So we got some water boiling here with lots of salt. You can kind of see it's already actually, uh, the water's uh, been used already because we cooked the other crabs. This is the last one. Let's drop this Dungeness in here. We cleaned them down by the river. I did, or down by the um, estuary. I did not film that part because there, it was raining and I had to like protect my GoPros and stuff from the rain and everything. So we didn't film any of that. A storm came up out of nowhere off the ocean. And uh, so, anyway, all right, that crab is boiling. Now let's figure out the sm Crazy. Uh, we looked it up online and people eat these guys all the time, so. Gonna rinse them off. Cool. This is, this is so much fun trying all these new things. All right, guys, there is a smelt filet with that bloodline running through. Now, a lot of people think it's gross, but you know, I don't mind a little fishy flavor in my fish. So we're going to leave it and do all the other ones the same way. All right, guys, so I just had an idea. So we have a couple different ways of the smelt here. We have the um, filet, and then we have the... I just gutted this one. And I don't know how this is going to taste. And smelt is really good bait. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save these other ones for bait. I don't know if I'll put them on crab traps or maybe I'll cut them up and use them to try to catch like some rock bass or something like that. But I'm going to do that. Um, those are bait. That's what we're going to do. All right, guys, our crab is done. Look how beautiful and red that dude is. We are going to set him. Let him kind of drip dry. And we're going to set him in a colander right in the sink there and let him cool off because he is very, very hot right now. Let's add a little butter to the frying pan. Guys, we are going to fry these up in butter, but not in lemon and salt and pepper. If you watch my channel, you know that I normally use lemon, butter, salt, and pepper, but recently I have been experimenting. I Last time I tried Southwest Chipotle seasoning when we cooked a fish and it this was delicious paired with lime so you put this chipotle seasoning with a lime on the fish oh it is delicious put it on right in the butter and some southwest on this side for the crab sandwich we are using these hawaiian sweet rolls and i'm gonna put a little butter a little bit of garlic powder my mom gave me this tip because she really knows how to cook and I just fake it. And we're going to flip this. Oh, guys, the smelt is looking good. I'm excited to try this too. A brand new... Mmm, this is cool. And then we got the lime. Guys, if you watched the crawdad, the last crawdad video I did, I, we did this to a small mouth and it tasted amazing. Lime and chipotle. Mm. I think the smelt is done. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. And then what we're gonna do, we're actually, I'm just gonna throw this bread right on there just for a second. It'll actually soak up some of the smelt flavor. Hopefully that is a good thing.
guys, look at this. Look at how beautiful that sandwich looks. This crab is piled high. Let me just take this part, put it right on top, like so. Ah. All right, guys. We have a piece of smelt and a crab sandwich for both of us. What do you want to try first? I know I'm going to love the crab. That's true. So I think so I'm going to try the smelt. The, never had smelt mm -mm, before. Never even caught a smelt. I fed it to sturgeon. Yes, I've we never... use smelt as bait all the time in Idaho. Damn, that's good fish. Yeah, that is good fish. That's really good. Especially, I put lime and chipotle like I did that smallmouth when we were down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to um, get a cast net when we see those things. Mm -hmm. Get your bunch in a cast net? Mm -hmm. Well, we have a new fish. You can get the old man out there to throw the cast net and show how that works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My dad used to live in Florida and he used a cast net a lot. I did. I had a Hawaiian man taught me how, taught me how to throw mm -hmm. a cast net. I didn't know it was a Hawaiian Your mom and I both know how to throw Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's that good. It's really good. Guys, smell. That's the way to go right there. I'm gonna scoop them up in the net. Mm. So what do we have next? Crab sandwich. Mm. That's a flavor burst. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, to me, there's a lot of flavors going on here. Too many maybe? I think there are too many flavors. Mm -hmm. You have the really strong crab, the really strong wasabi yo, mm -hmm. and then the the Hawaiian rolls, which mm -hmm. are really sweet. Mm -hmm. It's definitely you can't handle it, can you? I can't. I can't handle it. <laughs> I can handle it. I mean, it's still great. Yeah. But for me personally, I would rather just have like a buttered Hawaiian roll, and then eat the crab separately myself. Right. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out this evening. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you on day four.